Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals Medieval. Got it right that time. In the last episode, uh, we spent an entire day not looking at our opponents because it's so cool and shit. And uh, now we're moving on to our next tournament. Finally. Turn the sound down a little here. Tournament number six. Let's see what historical figure we're going against this time. Do -do 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 -do. Boom. The Pipes of Freedom. Am I getting some more Scottish people? I think I am. Entry cost is 30 stars, victory prize is 60 stars. No horse, no entry. Indeed, it's not. Who am I against this time? Of course, it's Robert the Bruce. God, we're just going to be owning Scotland this entire time. Anyway, William Wallace and his brave band of Scotsmen may have left town, but the party continues. Earlier this week, the great Lord Robert the Bruce arrived in town. He's not staying long, for he and his men are en route to aid William Wallace at the Battle of Stirling. Graciously, however, he agrees to stage a tournament to raise a war chest for Scotland's upcoming campaign against the English. Seven fights until Robert the Bruce. First up, it's the Snake, Sir William Plowright. Well, Robert, if, if there's a guy who's going to turn on you, it's this guy, because his nickname is literally the Snake. There you go, don't worry, I'll, I'll kill him for you. That's a lot of damage as well. 248 damage right off the get-go. Also, he's got a bow, so I just instantly hate him for having a bow. Because I remember Swords and Sandals too. So, yeah. Hey, how dare you? Stop that. Mean. Oh, you would have fallen off the ledge there. Why Why'd you deprive me of terminal velocity and pain for my opponents? Why'd you do that? Alright, six fights. Next up is Sir Todd Everhart. A Realm Knight Commander of level 19, so same as us. Go for another power attack here. It's risky for me to go for power attacks because I miss one and I'm in trouble. But for the moment, my skills at uh, doing this are pretty good. Shackles of Burden. I can't move. Well, I'll just do that then. I'll just rest for the rest of my turns. How dare you now smack you back. And there goes your cape. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Knock off all your armor. You have one armor point left. How am I not taking that? There you go. Ah, everyone can see your undergarments now. They can see the brown stain at the back of your shorts. And again, you're not the you're probably not the first when it comes to going up against the great man himself, Pirate Fro. Our next opponent is Sir Bleo Beris Gorgon. Level 21. He's actually got more strength than we do. But we are a titan, remember. He is not. So I deal 248 damage and he does none. Because we are a titan and he is not. But my god, that hair. That, that is some massive helmet hair right there. Definitely needs to get that checked out by some sort of hairdresser or something. Not sure if hairdressers existed at this time. But I'm going to say they do. Just for narrative purposes. Right, now you're screwed because you you unveiled his glorious afro. You die. The, like, the moment you unveil the afro of Pirate Fro, you just die immediately. Like, no mercy. Death happens. Sir so Dennis Bertrand. He's got very low strength, so I shouldn't have any problems with this guy. Ooh, nice. Okay, it does 103 damage. I do 125 damage. Not too shabby. And my afro is immediately on show. Okay, yeah, you try your Roman candles, mate. It's not going to help you. Because I'm immune to that. I have the sapphire necklace, after all. Grievous hit. And... 30 damage. And farting. And you're dead. You're dead via the, f via the flatulation of... Pirate throw. Look at him. Look at him just smile at that. He's like going, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't expect to lose to that, were you? No, you weren't. That's what you get for removing me bloody helmet. How dare you? All right, three fights until Robert the Bruce. Next up is Sebastian Mercia. Okay, decent stats. Decent stats. Let's see what we can do. There you go. Boom. 248 damage. I wonder if at some point I'll just go up against someone that has less armor and health than that. I wonder what would happen. But he'd just die. He'd, he'd just die while he's riding his horse. Just like, oh no! 
Okay, you're trying the fireworks strats, mate. It's not working very well, is it? You now have 15 health left. It's farting time. Arse out, mate. It's farting time. And I have 100,000 gold in the bank for the first time. Very nice. We're just getting a lot of gold. Two fights until Robert the Bruce. The singed helmets of my opponents. Sir Emmanuel Desjardins. Got good wits. So he could be difficult to hit. So I want to hit this. I did. 248 damage. Nice. Yeah, definitely uh, getting used to that, I think. Yep, your hair is oh, your hair is uh, on display. Mine is not. Oh, no, my cape. Um, no. Stop that. You idiot. What are you doing? Why would you do that? Stop it. You're dead now. Pirate Fro shows off his muscly arms for everybody. His shoulder guards are gone. It's fine. He's the Titan, after all. Right, the penultimate fight before Robert the Bruce. It's Sir Gregory Gorgon. Well, we just killed your brother, mate. You are going to go the same way. That's 248 damage. And I take none. Zero damage from me. Yep. Well, you're not going to be moving from this area. I'll say that much. See, if it was any other area, you'd obviously have to be moved. But since this is the graveyard, you might as well stay here. <laughs> you might as well, mate, at this point. I have been shackled a little bit, which is annoying. Yeah, do, do you want just, just, you see that grave there? Why don't you just jump in it? Just jump in it. There you go. I'm gonna shove you. You gone! <laughs> ah, there's water there. Well, you have a very watery coffin this time. In fact, we're so stingy, we didn't even buy you one. And Robert the Bruce, our next opponent. The Knight of Legend. He's a decent jouster and an above average swordsman. Well, he's a, only a decent jouster. I'm an amazing jouster. My god, those stats. <laughs> those stats are terrible, Robert. What could you possibly have? He's going to beat me now, isn't he? Now that I've said that. Oh my god, your stats are terrible, Robert! Yeah, well, what's up with you, mate? And now he's gonna beat me. He's gonna beat me. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Robert the Bruce, you were awful, my friend. You were terrible. Anyway, after the tournament, Robert the Bruce went on to aid William Wallace in the wars against England in 1306. He would claim the throne of Scotland after several years later. Oh, and several years later. He had a famous victory at Bannockburn, and it would not be long before Scotland could finally call itself free from English rule. He died in 1329. Victory, though! You can't beat this Englishman, Robert. And with that, a level up. Very nice. And some nice amount of gold. Level 20, we are now a Lord Knight! We got a lot of gold and a lot of stars. Very nice. I'm promoted to, to level 20, so we get an extra star for that. Very cool. Alright, let's increase... Let's increase some agility, actually. Sorry, because I keep seem to... I seem to keep losing it somewhere. I like, just goes down the sofa... Back, like, down the back of the sofa or something, I don't know. Alright, let's go on a quest. Far, far... Oh, it's a wandering wizard. Far, far from the bright lights of town, you come across a strange old man wandering through the woods. Wary of sorcerers, but curious nonetheless, you approach him. From beneath the furrowed brow... He asks you pointedly, Sir Knight, do you believe in the power of magic? Nod, indicating you do believe, or shake your head saying you do not. I do believe in magic. And we get the wizard, very nice. I believe there are forces in this world beyond the mortal realm. The wizard nods, wisely spoken. There are many powers in this realm that cannot be explained. I am one such power, and I've been looking for a knight such as you to lend my skills to. I shall join you for a while. Cheers! Nice, we have got the wizard. Oh. Okay. You will never be hungry, however, you'll become tired twice as fast each day. I don't really want that. I really don't want that, so I'm just going to keep you in my followers. I can keep you there, but you, I doubt you're going to ever be in my entourage, let's be honest. All right. Let's see if a new weapon, possibly. Oh, yeah, of course. Forgot about that. 
Yeah, now we have moat castles. And another tree. That's the most important thing. We got another tree. All right, uh, so I increased agility. And random firework. Lovely. All right, let's see if we can get a new weapon. We can. The next one's at tw Oh my god, that looks so cool. <laughs> I want that axe. I'll get this one, though. Um, okay, 61 damage per hit. 20% critical hit chance. I'm buying this. I'm just gonna buy it. So there you go. Now we have a new axe. Looks like some sort of gothic axe. Kind of cool looking. Fair enough. I need 23 strength for the next armor to steal. <clears throat> Let's be honest. Stealing it. Oh, I got some food. Well, I don't need that wizard as long as the peasants keep giving me food for some reason. Oh, bloody hell. Level 17, are those are your stats? Marshal Dufour, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't understand what you're doing. That's the worst bit of it. 81 damage immediately. Don't you chicken me. Ow. How dare you. 162 damage on a critical hit. Yeah. That's how we roll. That is how we roll with this new axe. We are getting some nice stuff for that. Let's do another fight. And with this one we get nothing. Oh well. Well, at least if I lose an agility point, it won't matter this time, will it? So Ronaldo Hansen. Got good strength, good vitality, but sucks everywhere else pretty much. That's 81 damage immediately. That's 121 damage. Jumping Jack. Well, it missed because it's a firework, you dummy. And I'm getting more critical hits than I'm expecting. I mean, what? I think I've got, like, just over a quarter chance to critical hit my opponent. I seem to be hitting it a lot for some reason. I don't mind that one bit, but still. Ah, more experience points. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Sir Kane Baxter. He's got bugger all for everything, but his vitality is amazing. Look at that. Look at that health. Why do you need so much health, mate? I don't understand. Why are you using firecrackers as well? That that could also be an idea. Stop it. You have that. Hey, enough. You take that back, sod. My attack now does half damage. Oh god, uh, yeah, everyone's going nuts. 41. And death. 162 damage there. Very nice. Of course I wasn't going to get many stars for that. I mean, he had, like, so much health. Of course I wasn't. It's late afternoon. I wonder if there's actually a challenge about... No, it doesn't seem there are any live tournaments. Okay. Oh, and now the battles are closed. Okay, that's fine. That's alright. We got 273 stars, so we could get someone new to our entourage. Which would be very nice. The scientist for a magic potion. The court dandy. Uh, the herald, no. The bear? The baker? Well, with the baker, you really don't need a wizard, do you? Alright, I'll tell you who we'll get. We'll get the court dandy. For some more health! Who have we currently got? Oh yeah, the spoilt princess. I've got enough stars. Yeah, I've got enough stars for the moment. I'll, uh, I'll uh, bring the court dandy in for a bit and see how the court dandy does. We will... Uh, actually, no. The abbot is good. Oh, I could just do that. <laughs> I could just switch him out. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, he's good, but I've got a decent amount of health at this point. So I'm good for the moment. Ah, there we go! And already he has paid off in spades. It's 1,500 gold right there from the dandy. Indeed. Alright, moving on. Let's do another one. I've lost a luck point. I buy some sweets to give to children, but their parents shout at you for trying to rot their teeth. Ah, you're not being bloody... Like, what horrible sods those parents are. Seriously, you can't have your children just eat vegetables and stuff. You can't. Be bored as hell. You don't, they don't bored children. Still probably take it over hyperactive, but still, it's not nice. It's not fair. Damn it. 
It was a treat. He gave him a treat. It was like, yeah, it's for being good. Here's some sweet teas. Ugh. No one will understand how Pirate Fro does things. He's a pirate, damn it! He ain't got any teeth of his own, probably. Actually, no, he does. He's got a very nice set of pearly whites. Sir Nicholas Straw has got bugger all for everything, apart from agility. He's got a lot of agility. And he's used Arabian Sands immediately. Are you really going Yeah, you missed, you dummy. Have that. How dare you? I'm gonna jump towards you. Hey! Rude! Stop that! And now you die. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so close to dropping him in the grave. That'd be great. Why isn't there something we can just drop him in the grave if you get him to a certain bit? That'd have been fun. Anyway, with that, level up. We are now a Lord Knight Aspirant, and we have got the Sacrifice. Sacrifice a third of your armor to regain a third of your health. Only works if you're uh, next to your foe, and you have at least 33% armor. Oh, that's... R mm, well... I guess it depends. If you've got a lot of health and very little armor, that's probably pretty good. But then you've got to be hit with crits for that. Alright, let's get some strength bonuses. Because we want to start sealing stuff very soon, probably the next episode. Alright. In a cool glade, you're approached by a strange man who professes to be some kind of conjurer. A group has formed around him. I require several strong men to help me with a dangerous magical spell. Will you come with me to my tower to lend me your skills? He says at you intently. Okay, we can either go with the warlock and help with the spell, or we can decline it, leave the glade at once, and don't look back. I'm curious. Jesus Christ. Whoa! Okay. Along with several other burly-looking townsfolk, you accompany him to his tower nearby. He approaches an evil-looking door covered in runes and begins to incant. Held back whatever comes through that door, he yells. Soon enough, several terrible black dogs leap at you from the dark. You make short work of them. The magician darts into the dark passage and returns with golden gifts for each warrior. Four elixirs of agility and 26,750 gold. Score, I think, for me. That's a score. Do I now have enough to get the next armor? No, I need to do a little more. Damn it! Need more strength to steal stuff. Give me strength. That's not strength. No. Stealing. Sir Emmanuel Robert, our next opponent. Bugger all for... Actually, no, he's got, he's got a decent health. He's got crap armor, though. <laughs> what armor? You got, you got shoulder blades. That's all you got, shoulder blades. Shoulder guards. That's all you got, mate. They didn't even help you. Ugh. That was bloody easy, mate. What the hell? Buy better things than shoulder guards next time. Right, let's go for another. Let's do another fight. Strength. No gold. That's all right. Uh, I give arms to the local chapel. Very nice. We're against Sir Godric Helmguard. Again, his health is very low. I don't mind going against opponents with low health because you know, with the amount of damage that I'm dealing, I can finish them off in a couple of hits, really. Right, he's running away from me and I don't... Aha! <laughs> you have shown off your hair! Your curly locks, good sir! You are buggered! And I'll take my five stars if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Alright. Let's do another fight. I get nothing. Pirate Fro always gets nothing. Sir Christopher Birmingham. Low vitality again, but he's got good wit. So this could be an issue fight. It could be an issue fight. He stabbed me. How dare you. And he tried to hit me with a firework and it didn't work. Oh, bloody hell. I just, like, stripped him of his clothes in two hits. Two hits and there goes his clothes. Stop trying to use Dragon Egg. Don't you see the necklace I've got? You dunce. What was that? You're an idiot. You deserve to lose that, mate. You deserve to lose that. Right, let's go to the tavern and rest. It's not much now to spend in there. And you never know, the, the dandy may come in useful. He's already come in useful once, so, you know, that's always a good thing. He didn't come in useful today. That's fine. We'll see how he goes. Oh, to agility! Oh, does that mean I can now buy that? Oh, please tell me I can now buy that, that cool weapon. I'd really like that. Sir Achilles Heidelberg. Please tell me I can get that new weapon. I really just want that new weapon. 
Devil's Horseshoe. Okay. Another Devil's Horseshoe. I'm gonna shove you. <laughs> Sod you, mate. I can't charge. I'm gonna get shove you. Screw you. You have more luck now. And you use Devil's Horseshoe. I'm gonna shove you. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> didn't even take any damage. Didn't even... He didn't even attack me. I just shoved him. Shoved him to death. He sank like a stone, the poor sod. Let's do one more. And it's money! You come to the aid of a frantically screaming damsel. Okay. Sir Victor Ryder. Got good vitality. Alright, 480 hit points. Have that. Oh, my agility is looking good. I like that because now I can sort of charge from a lot of areas of the screen. Have that. You're going in that grave whether you like it or not, mate. You are going in that grave. Don't give a damn. Oh, I, I would have got him in there. I would have got him in there. Ah, we won 100 fights as well. Very nice. Alright, we've reached the rank of Lord Knight Errant. Firework avoidance increased. Useless to me because I'm immune to them. I'm immune to fireworks. I don't need that. Alright, quest time. Let's do this. Whilst trekking down the King's Highway, you hear the sounds of a struggle. Weapon drawn, you run over to the crest of a hill, and you see an elderly farmer and his wife being attacked by a gang of brigands. One look at the, a fully armoured knight scatters them. The old timers were first shaken, uh, first shaken finally approach you. We have nothing to offer you but our thanks, they say tearsly. Demand payment for your heroic actions, or humbly accept their thanks and continue down the road. Ah, uh, well, technically I didn't do anything, did I? So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just say, I'll, I accept your thanks and continue down the road. Think nothing of it. The noblest reward is knowing a wrong has been righted. The old woman smiles and, and years fall off her face. You remind me of my son. He was a grail knight. Here, please take this ring. It was once his. It has magical properties and may aid you in your quest. We received the grail knight ring. What? Pray tell, does that do? There is a 10% chance you'll be resurrected if killed by battle. It also increases your vitality by 5. Yes, immediately. Immediately. Alright. Can I get that new weapon now that I got more agility? Oh, yeah. The spike axe. 85 damage per hit. And it costs a lot. But sorry, I'll buy it. I'm a sucker for a spiky axe. And we'll buy some of this. The hospital. Hospitala Helm. <laughs> Jesus. What a helm. The cape. The gauntlets. The boots. The shoulder guards. The shield. And steel. <laughs> Nick it. Yes! I stole it! So did you! Yay! And now we look... Now we look kind of cool. I like that. We got our eye patch out and everything. So, what have, I, what have we got now? So... We've got 520 health, 491 armor. We are bloody awesome now. Cheers for that, mate. You still didn't notice that I stole from you. You never will notice, because I'm probably your only customer. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a break here. But in the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals Medieval, we're going to take our newly bought axe and our newly, well, stolen armor piece and the other bits of armor that I actually bought. But the stolen armor piece. I'm doing some more battles. I'll see you then.